In this exercise, we're going to be adding some localization resources. Our objectives will be to review the portlet component properties, we'll change the localization file encoding, we'll provide some localization resources, and we'll test it in the user interface. The steps we'll take to get there, we'll change the localization file encoding, we'll provide those localization resources within the language.properties file, and we'll test it in the user interface. As you can see, we're back in Liferay Dev Studio, and we're gonna start this exercise off by first taking a look at the component properties of the gradebook portlet Java class, which we can find down here. We'll go ahead and open that up. And we'll take a look at the component properties. If you look at the resource bundle property, we can see that its value translates to a file system path that ends in our language.properties file, which was done automatically by the module template. By setting this property, localization resources of language.properties are available for Liferay JSP tag libraries automatically. If we were to add support for another language, let's say, for example, German, we would simply need to add a new language properties file in that content folder, which would be named language underscore lowercase de underscore capital de dot properties. Now the default encoding for the language text files is ISO 8859-1. While it usually works for English, localizations for other languages with non-standard ASCII special characters will break. So we'll go ahead and change the file encoding to UTF-8. So we'll navigate to our language.properties file. And we'll go ahead and right click on that file. We're gonna go down to properties. And we'll go ahead and change the text file encoding to UTF-8 and hit apply and close. And we'll go ahead and click yes. Now we'll go ahead and open our language.properties file and we'll implement it according to the code snippet from your exercise instructions. And at this point, you can go ahead and test that over in the UI. So if we wanted to test to make sure our messages got implemented properly, we can go and, for example, go to delete our test assignment. You will see the message that says, are you sure you want to delete this? That's something that we set if we hit OK in a moment we'll see the success message assignment was just deleted successfully and that is another message that we set mm -hmm. 